There's a fun event happening this weekend at the Oak Barrel, and here to tell us more is Chef Demetrius from the Oak Barrel and Sarah Cleary from Fathead's Brewery. What are you doing there, Chef? I got a little brisket here. We're doing. It's a which little is, brisket, which you is, say, uh, huh? Which is, uh, you know, something that we don't do year round at the Oak Barrel, but Oak Fest, you know, mm -hmm. Thursday, uh, Friday, and Saturday this week, uh, you can come down and get again a once one, once a year. Uh, brisket as long as well as a whole bunch of other cool stuff that we're doing uh, everything you make is good all kinds of barbecue uh, specials ribs and pulled pork and uh, you know house made pickles mac and cheese all the good all the good you fixings. got all this great food but there's not gonna be any entertainment or music right We got live music all oh. weekend we got great beer from uh, fatheads and three Floyds and OYO is uh, doing some special cocktails for us so it's gonna be a great event all weekend long so, so what's great about this is there's no admission you just come down there and then you dive in and come and, on and down. go to town that's it listen to some music eat some eat some good bar you know, Texas style barbecue and uh, have some of the best beer in uh, Northeast Ohio Demetrius your food is always fantastic but to see the great beer here Sarah I see you've got three Floyds here which is one of the hardest beers to get around here we, we don't get it very often no no uh, our friends at three Floyds are nice enough to send in some beers for the event. I think we've got 10 different kegs from them and some really special stuff and 10 different kegs from Fatheads. So yeah, a plethora of beer to be enjoyed for the weekend. I was in Chicago this weekend and I was trying to get some of that zombie dust from them and they only deliver that like once a week. So I mean, it's hard to get even if you're near the brewery and uh, to have it here at this festival would be a great opportunity for peer, people who really love a lot of beer. Yeah, it's exciting. Are you going to pour a beer or just talk I am. to me? Yeah, so I brought okay, I'm pouring one go. of our spooky tooth. I figure since it's starting to get a little cool out, I'm sitting over it's here. time I'm, for some pumpkin beer. I'm exhausting dust over here. I'm uh, so thirsty. So you know, it's 10 o'clock in the beer. morning. That, yeah. and, and you know the nice thing about this event is you're getting things that you can't really get year round. I mean, very special kegs from Fatheads. They, they're cream ale that we got on right now. We got a barrel aged uh, battle axe, I think, from Fatheads. Yeah, we've got some um, Schwartz beer, pumpkin beer, Oktoberfest. So this a this bit is a spooky tooth from Fathead, so sort of a pumpkin kind of thing, right? Yeah, it's an imperial pumpkin beer, so nine percent alcohol. So so put you put you in a good spot <laughs> to eat lots of food. Um, and if, so we'll have that as well. We've got, you know, Headhunter and Bumbleberry, which are staple beers, um, both really great with barbecue. So now, we're excited now for Now, say that. you suffered underwear damage from over-exercise <laughs> and you needed a drink to help calm the pain. What drink would you uh, offer? I would go for, we're going to have a keg of our tweaked out Hippie Sippy this weekend. Hippie Sippy. Which hippie is a uh, big imperial style, lots of booze and coffee and vanilla beans. It's really delicious, kind of like dessert in a beer. Mm -hmm. One of the things I like about the Oak Barrel also is when you go down there, you have a great, great display of bourbon. You know it. And boy, you can go through oh, that yeah. bourbon and have a good time. I see some some uh, yeah, liquor over here. Our, our friends over at uh, Middle, Midwest Middle West Spirits, uh, OYO is going to be making some cocktails with their. We, we got a bourbon cocktail that they're doing and a Planters Punch, which is some of their mm -hmm. specialty vodkas that they make. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I heard the weather's going to be great too. And if you yeah. haven't been down to the Oak Barrel, it is a great place to visit. It's on Canal Road. It's underneath the Big Valley View Bridge. So either you get it. off at Granger Road or you get down there or you come off of Rockside, but you can get down there. And it's sort of in the country. I mean, it's, it's almost part of the national park there. You get the canal in front of you. The yeah, you get the river. trail, you know, the trail right there, which is one of, actually one of uh, Fathead's special beers that they make called yeah. Trailhead, which we're going to have this weekend as well, uh, which they give back to the uh, metro park systems and everything mm -hmm. for all those. Hey, now those, get. those wings look a little different than wings we see, like, coming from some of the other stores. What, what makes yeah. those different? I mean, we, well, we got we got half chicken here that we're going to be uh, serving. So you're going to, it'll be, it'll be. The special, we'll have a regular menu all, all weekend long, and then we'll have some special Texas barbecue kind of features. So we're going to have spare ribs, brisket, like I said, um, our house sausages that we're doing, um, you know, and then you can, it's all a la carte. So you can get, right. you can get like a pound of, you know, a pound of brisket, you can get an order of ribs, you know, spare ribs, uh, baby back ribs. Um, it's going to so be, it's going to be a lot of There's a lot going lot on. Food, I love know. this. This coleslaw has, yeah. uh, it's got some green stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. We, well, this is our, uh, this is our house law we have over, over at the Oak Barrel. And, I love you know, this. We use, we use a nice Napa cabbage with some arugula. It gives it a nice little, the arugula gives little it a spark. bite. You got it. Gives it a little spark. It. And That's how about, it. who makes the pickles? So the pickles, so, so this is, we call them our, we call them our funky, chef's funky pickles. So chef's we got funky some, pickles. We got some sweet hots in there, some dills and, and some uh, B&B, some bread and butters. And then actually the fun thing that we're doing this year for the first time, this is like the fourth time we've done this event, is uh, all my chefs and the chefs and the chef at uh, Fatheads, uh, we all are making our own sauce. Mm -hmm. So you basically pick your meat, pick whichever sauce you want. You can get extra sauces if you like, and then uh, pick your sides and you're good to go. Have a beer, listen to some music and... Uh, Enjoy a great weekend. This is a good beer. What's, what's the signature beer you think you'll sell the most of down there? You know, Bumbleberry is our number one seller. Bumbleberry. It's our beer, yeah. Blueberry honey ale, really light, super easy to drink. But as the fall weather turns, I think people turn to Headhunter. Great. Big West Coast IPA, always good for the fall. You're old enough to drink? Yeah. Why, aren't, why aren't you? 
I, I, I guess o'clock. I should start. Let's okay. go. Okay, I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> oh, get, get Natalie over here. Thursday, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> Natalie will be over here as All soon right. as we go to commercial so break. And eat some of this food. <laughs>